Mr. Chair and members, uh, AB 1027 will strengthen California's efforts to combat illicit drug trafficking online uh, by enhancing transparency and strengthening business record retention policies for social media companies operating in California. Um, and let me start by uh, providing some context for the bill and the issue that we are trying to address with AB 1027, which is the fentanyl crisis and specifically the proliferation of fentanyl trafficking online. Uh, as you, uh, Mr. Chair and committee members well know, fentanyl is the most dangerous and deadly substance in the world circulating on the illegal drug market today. Uh, just two milligrams, that's two grains of sand, is enough to kill. And in recent years, fentanyl-related deaths have skyrocketed. Here in California, uh, 17 people die each and every day because of fentanyl poisoning. And uh, two disturbing trends have really dramatically increased the dangers of fentanyl. Uh, number one is that fentanyl today is in every is everywhere and in everything. It's laced into street drugs, and it's also in counterfeit prescription drugs that are sold as Xanax, oxycodone, Percocet. Um, and number two, fentanyl is being trafficked on social media sites. So, in 2023, dealers aren't lurking in dark parking lots or remote street corners, they're on sites like Instagram and, and Snapchat, targeting our kids on what the uh, US DEA now describes as a drug superhighway. Um, as a mom and as a legislator, this keeps me up at night. And um, alongside many of my colleagues on both the Assembly and the Senate side, we are working to develop a comprehensive approach to combat the fentanyl crisis in California. And AB 1027 is one part of that strategy. Uh, AB 1027 will strengthen reporting and retention requirements for social media companies. Specifically, the bill will require updates to policy statements regarding drug-related offenses. It will require social media platforms to retain for 90 days data on accounts that are removed for violation of a platform's policies that prohibits the distribution of drugs uh, and establish a dedicated point of contact in the Attorney General's office to manage proactive reports related specifically to trafficking activity. Uh, there is a need and I think a really important opportunity for social media companies to assume a larger role in combating the online trafficking of illicit drugs that are occurring on their platforms. And so I'm grateful for the partnership that we have had with law enforcement, with social media platforms, as well as with parent advocates uh, as we've crafted this bill.